Hey everybody, Amelia here. Today I'm excited to use these yarns to demonstrate tapestry crochet on a small heart design that I have on the website. You will still need to grab the pattern to make this design, but this is a great introduction to tapestry crochet and a quick overview of this pattern. So you see my H hook here. I'm gonna take my first color in this yarn and chain 15 because I'm making the small version of this heart, which will turn out to be four inches square. So the pattern starts with 15 chain stitches. Now the yarn I'm using is a worsted weight. It is Brava's, um, the Brava yarn from We Crochet. And I believe this color is cornflower. So there's my chain stitches. And to make row one, we're simply going to skip the first chain stitch, so this one right here. And we're going to put a single crochet stitch into all of the other chains, which will give us 14 stitches total. Every single one of the rows is going to have 14 single crochet stitches. Alright, so here we are done and we're going to turn. You'll notice I do not do any type of a turning chain here. I, I like it better when uh, I skip a turning chain with single crochet, but you can chain one and turn and use a small turning chain if that makes you more comfortable. Now this pattern still starts with a few rows in our first color. So we can just go ahead and get those rows out of the way. That's rows one through three, so rows two and three are just going to be you putting a single crochet stitch in each one of the rows. And then when we're done with that, we will go ahead and add our second color. All right, so I'm done with those rows. Now I'm going to grab my second color, which is a pale pink, and that's the same Brava yarn in the blush color. Start by finding your end and we're going to start to incorporate this into our design. So take care of any yarn barf that you have and we use the end right where our hook already is. We're going to lay it across the top of these rows that we've already done. So the top of the last row just like this leaving a little bit extra hanging down there on the right. And now I'm gonna work my single crochet stitch around that next color. Because I'm still starting with stitches in my first color, which is the blue. I'm not actually doing stitches in my second color yet, but I have it there ready starting with this row because this is where I will start to use it. Okay, so we work right around that yarn like this. So that if you have to give it a little tug like that, it will disappear and you can't really see it, but it is just there incorporated into the work now. Okay, so we're done with the stitches that I needed to do in the blue. Now what I do is with my very last stitch of the blue, I'm going to finish this stitch by yarning over in my second color just like this and closing the single crochet stitch with that because the tops of the stitches really lay to the left of the single crochet and so we want to set it up so that it looks like a nice clean color change so as you can see I just switched the yarn I was using and I started working the pink yarn around the blue instead of the other way around now I'm doing that color change again I close that single crochet stitch uh, with the blue again because that very first row is the bottom point of the heart design so we only needed a few stitches in that second color to start so as you can see now the rest of this row is being finished with the blue all right and at the end of this row you have both of your colors here now this part is also important to tapestry crochet. 
when you wrap the color that you're not using right away, which is still my second color, you want to wrap it towards the back of your work. So I've decided that this is going to be the back of my work, even though the heart is going to show up on both sides. And so I wrapped the yarn back that way before I started uh, working the blue around it in the next round. But other than that, you continue in the same way and you'll see that I do the color change again in a slightly different spot because our heart design is widening. There we go. So there's a few more stitches in this row in the pink, but the color changes are exactly the same. Finish there in the blue. And now I can complete the row again with those single crochet stitches only done in the blue, but keeping that second color contained and working around it. Very good. And so now you'll see that um, when I wrap the yarn, this time I'm wrapping it to the front so now it's contained still at the back of the work. So you have to alternate the way you wrap that yarn. Once you get the hang of that, it's pretty straightforward and you simply continue working in the colors the way that the pattern is written. So in this case, I've been using blue as my first color, pink as my second color, and so I will just keep doing the designated number of stitches in each color for each row. And since this is a heart and it gets wider and wider for a while, I'm just doing a few more stitches in the pink for every row. All right, we're a few more rows into the heart. You can really see it taking shape at the bottom. And we're a little bit over halfway done. Now we're about to get to the point in the heart where you have two rounded top sections and that means we are going to have a few more color changes in this next row. So we only have a couple of stitches in the blue, then we change to pink, and then we have a few more in the blue in the very middle. But the color changes are still done in exactly the same way no matter where on the row you are and no matter how many color changes you have to do. It's very important to finish your last stitch in one color with the next color, with that last yarn over. And that can take some getting used to. As a matter of fact, you'll see I've caught myself at least once even in this video uh, going back and dropping the first color when it's time to change. But the results are totally worth it and it just it looks beautiful that's the whole secret of the tapestry crochet is those color changes and holding your yarns um, inside of the other stitches so you can see now that we're done with that row and we just have a little bit more shaping to do at the top of the heart And before we are all done with the heart design which you can see right here so now that I'm done with the color pink I'm gonna go ahead and snip it off leaving a little tail just to get it out of my way and I'll come back later and weave in that end when I weave in all the others so that looks pretty nice and now just like at the bottom of our work I'm gonna finish this heart off with a few rows only in the blue and done with the blue worked by itself, meaning I don't have to hold yarn um, inside of those stitches anymore because we got rid of our pink. So once we're done with a few rows of the blue, we're going to be totally done with this square. And you can see the finished product right here. So now I get to trim off my blue as well and go ahead and start weaving in my ends. looking good now normally I do like to use a tapestry needle when weaving in my ends and I like to work the yarn inside other strands of yarn but in this case 
I'm not going to do that because yarn is already being held right inside of the stitches. And so since my hook is small enough, I'm simply going to use my hook to draw my ends inside of the single crochet stitches, as you can see here, um, the same way that the yarns are carried when we have more than one color. So I just pull them through and then give it a nice little stretch to make sure it's all distributed in there. And I'll do that with all of the rest of the ends before trimming them off. And then that's it. That is the end of our heart square. In real time, this only took me about 25 minutes to make, so I hope you enjoy whipping up your own version whenever you can, and that it helps you if you're new to tapestry crochet.